Hey, this is Jake's Mobile Auto with part two of the tip of the day on compressing a caliper without a special tool. I just wanted to show you here that we went ahead and removed that caliper after we compressed it with this screwdriver. And I'm going to just show you how easy this is going to be now to do. So I'm just going to let that lean right there. And I'm going to take one of my pads here. Okay. Let's see which one. Now, actually, I uh, see a lot of people make this mistake here, is when you take the pad off, you want to make sure which pad was where. So you can see this one does not have an indicator on it like this. So I know right here, um, this is my back pad. Okay. And you're going to want to, if it actually comes with new hardware, you're going to want to put the new hardware in. Um, you're going to want to grease these rails up here, which uh, we're going to do that in a minute. But just for video purposes, I just wanted to show you um, how this is going to work here. Okay, so we're going to get this one out. And you can see, now even though these, these pads, you know, look the same in length and width, that this is the one that has the indicator on it. So um, that's the one I'm going to want to put back right here. And again, uh, we're going to go ahead and lubricate these, but... For, for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you how using that tool would be just as effective as the C-clamp or any other tool that you might have. Always make sure you push these little bushings in and lubricate these as well, even if they're moving currently, because you got to think of the brake job the next time it's going to be done. You don't want these things heating up. You know, the heat from the brakes will actually cook the grease inside of these things. So we are going to take this apart and grease it all properly. But I wanted to show you how this is just going to fit over here. And sometimes I might just have to go a little bit further to pull in. What you can do, again, if there's no problem with the caliper, is I might just have to go in a hair more. I'm just pulling this with my hand. Again, using the mounting and all. To get that leverage that I need to just push it in that little little bit more okay and there we go so it's gonna slip right on I'm gonna make sure these make sure these pins are pushed back here so and then we're just gonna just gonna work it on there okay so there you go and then we're gonna put the pins in and tighten it up but actually we need to take this off to grease it all up so we'll be back with part three of the tip of the day just to show you that it all worked out the way it's supposed to